How do you make sure that bees do not attack animals and then the people? Oh, thank you very much. That's a very, very good question, Duke. I do appreciate. And to our viewers, one, one thing we should all know, bees are wild insects that mm -hmm. we try to domesticate. Okay. So in so doing, something wild must be fenced within. There should be, what I'm trying to drive at is, there should be a fence around the bees. Maybe with the uh, wire mesh or something, mm -hmm. but this fence should be something that, you know, keeps away animals like, you know, goats are funny animals, they keep jumping everywhere. Mm -hmm. So there should be a fence that will prevent any stray animal or uh, farm animals from crossing to the apiary section. Mm -hmm. That's the first thing in preventing, you know, bees attacking so and so. Otherwise, if you obviously leave their hive and then a big, uh, I mean a goat comes, or let's say a child comes with a stick and starts poking or what, the bees will automatically attack. Mm. So to prevent all that kind of drama, I would call it drama because at the end of the day we may even lose lives. Mm. So to prevent all that, the fence is the first thing. Mm. Second, at the farm, at the Duke's farm, there should be first aid. Mm. This should be something that everyone intending to do beekeeping or intending to do any venture that has maybe dangers or what, must have first aid. So there's something we call an EpiPen. An EpiPen is uh, a tool used if someone, uh, if someone gets stung and we don't want them to die. Because when you get stung, the, the venom released into your body will go and start blocking the blood vessels. And in so doing, with blocking blood vessels, you'll automatically die because the blood will not be flowing well. So, to prevent that, we have something called an epipen. Now, I'm talking about when you've been stung several times. Let's say more than 100 bees have stung you. Because if, let's say, 10 sting you or 20, that's, that's okay. It's just a dose. It's, it's more of medication. But if they have stung you to that level where you may die, you know, you have to use an epipen. An epipen is a tool that has medicine in it. You simply, uh, it has an injection. When you press it to your knee, it releases ve uh, medicine into your body and the body will take that medicine into your bloodstreams and it will kill everything that has, you know, uh, had started getting, you know, blocking the vessels so that it actually breaks down and it moves and the blood will be allowed to move around. So. You need first aid, which first aid is EpiPen. We also, if you cannot afford EpiPens, because I've seen few people have EpiPens in Uganda who are actually beekeepers. You may have to have a cold chamber or let's say a freezer or an ice maker. Every time you want to go to the farm, you must have ice. And this ice is what will help you. Once you start getting stung, you apply ice everywhere you're getting stung and it will keep the venom and the body not to swell but at least to kill the venom away so basically one thing we should know very well is uh keeping bees is very good but it, was, it can also be very dangerous if you do not follow the right thing and if you do not get the right people to guide you 